We're going to be entering a whole new year, being 2024, and a lot of things have maybe changed since the past videos that I had. Uh, that were about a year ago now, so this is going to be the newly updated one. Uh, these videos have done pretty good on my channel. This is going to be how to make your Discord audio sound better. So when you're talking to people, you can sound nice and crisp and understandable. For the most part, I'll try to go through the rundowns of what everything does to make your microphone sound better. Um, it kind of depends on the microphone you have. Uh, USB headset microphones and XLR microphones will all perform differently using these settings but I will explain what they do so you have the opportunity to change anything that you need to. All right, so I'm gonna explain what the voice settings on the input device is. The input device is what your microphone is, so if you have a headset and it's, say, a SteelSeries headset, it'll be SteelSeries Steel input. The output is gonna be the headphones that you have. If they're both plugged in or they are the same thing, then it'll be named the same thing. So for my case, it is the same thing. Um, it could also be maybe this, but in this case it's not, but it, it could be something different for you. The output is your headphones. So in is your microphone, out is headphones. Now, the input mode can be voice activity or push to talk. Push to talk, as most people know, you gotta push a button to let that gate open and you can control that a lot. But if you're not someone that uses that, like me, you wanna maybe do voice activity. Um, depending on how background sensitive your microphone is, so I'll give you an example. If I'm quiet right now, it actually doesn't make too much noise. Um, but the way you could set this is once the bar, this darker bar goes past the white line is when the gate opens. So that's when people can hear me. Anytime it's above on the right side on the green is when people can hear me. Um, if you don't really want to tinker with this too much or you're really unsure, you can always just keep it automatic. And it does a pretty good job of doing that. There you go. If we scroll down a little bit past the video settings, we get the advanced settings. Video uh, codec, you're not going to need to do anything with that because this is audio, not video. Um, so under voice processing, this is the biggest portion of Discord. This can make or break your microphone depending on how you have it set up. And I'm going to run down and explain what everything does. Echo cancellation is a little feature that let's say you don't have headphones plugged in and you have speakers playing music or something in the background and there's an echo or if you talk into your microphone and you hear yourself through the speakers, it's going to try to cancel that out. Now, this is a really, in my opinion, it can be useful, but it honestly hinders the quality of your audio tremendously. Uh, you'll notice that you're not even getting picked up sometimes because it, it's just the echo cancellation thinks you're an echo and it's like, that's not good. I would highly recommend honestly turning this off unless entirely necessary for people that are saying, oh, well, I, people are saying I'm cutting in and out. The echo cancellation, if you have it on, is probably doing that. The noise suppression is something I like to use sometimes when I have a steering wheel set up and it's kind of loud. I actually turn on the crisp audio because it, uh, it cuts out that noise and it really looks for your microphone. It could also be a little bit of background noise um, to cut out background noise. If you have someone talking, they come into your room, it won't pick up that. I'm not sure how it registers that it does that, but it, it definitely does. I think maybe audio level is lower and it doesn't pick it up, but it's a great way to kind of get rid of some of that excess noise. If you're, you got a party, you know, you got people like partying in the other room or it's just loud outside of your room or wherever you are, you could turn that on. I think for the most part, if you have a decent USB microphone or XLR microphone, I would keep it on none. Um, and it'll do you just as perfectly fine. Now, if we move to automatic gain control, automatic gain control is something that if Somebody is telling you you're pretty low when you're talking to them. You're like, oh, well, I, hey, I can't hear you. I turned you all the way up to the 200, um, you know, 200% mark, and I'm still like not able to hear you. What you can do is turn on automatic gain control. Gain is the volume that your microphone is able to output um, in decibels, and automatic gain control takes the your current decibel reading and raises it digitally. Um, it can cause problems uh, depending on the kind of microphone, but for the most part, it actually does a good job. I use it, as you can see here, because it makes me just louder. And my microphone tends to be quieter to most people anyways, because it's a XLR going into an interface and it tends to, the signal tends to be always lower. So I use that, um, but I would definitely recommend that if people are telling you, you're too quiet. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. If you guys have any questions about things feel free to leave them in the comments or if there's something else you want me to cover with obs or say any other software when it comes to audio i've been doing this stuff for five years um on and off and uh i'm always willing to help people and hopefully i'll see you guys in the next year's video maybe things will change and i'm 